All right, everybody. This is going to be on my phone, so please forgive the jittery uh, and the background noise. I'm in the garage and the puppy's in here. Uh, this is a 24-hour dial time switch, as you can see right there, model T104. It's a double pole, single throw switch. Here's the picture on the timer, okay? And here, let's do this a little bit. Focus. Wow. Can't believe that. Okay. That's how you wire it. I hope you can see that. Now here's the timer itself. Okay. Forgive the shakiness. This is my cell phone. I'm not used to using it. Uh, I'll show you how to set the the uh, time in just a second. Now you can see right here a manual lever to turn it on and to turn it off. Um, there, can you see that number four down there? It says load. Okay. Now, turn it around here. Maybe that's going to be a little better. Okay. From your 220 source, where your water heater is uh, currently going into the water heater, you take that off. Of course, you shut the breaker off. And then where it says line, numbers one and number three, that goes from your breaker to there. And you have a short piece of wire that goes from number two and number four back to the water heater. Now this unit controls your water heater. I, ha I personally have a uh, mindset on two different times of day. Um, it comes on for about four hours in the morning and go and goes off and comes on for about I don't know about six hours at night uh, when you do the laundry after you get home and dishes and showers and whatnot. Uh, this little device right here has saved me more money than I can shake a stick at. It's an intermatic. Uh, you can get them at Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards. Uh, I would get the manual one like this. Uh, the um, Here's what the control triggers look like. You have a, a silver for on and a brass colored for off. And they mount on this dial right inside here. Uh, and as it, it, it screws down, and as it turns and gets to noon, it trips. And then this will actually trip on or off. Just like that. And you can see, you can manually override this anytime you want, which is nice. And it's easy to set the timer. You just, it, you're not going to get shocked. You just reach in there, pull up, and twist it to whatever time of day it is. Set it, let it go. Uh, you can change it easily enough for daylight savings time if you need that. Uh, I, I think this is something that every household with an electric water heater needs. Uh, it, it your water heater, whether it is um, whether it is uh, wrapped or not, um, still uses power. Uh, it's going to sense if the temperature gets down to a certain degree, uh, it'll come on and uh, warm the water heater up when you're not home and you don't need it. So this controls the ability to let your water heater heat an hour before you get home uh, and throughout the, the time that you're home or you, you usually use your water heater and shut off. So it's off during the day when you're at work, not using any ed energy, and it's off in the middle of the night. And these water heaters, they're designed to hold a lot of hot water for a long time. 
So it's not like it's going to be cold, cold if you get up in the middle of the night and want to, you know, do dishes for some strange reason. You know, whatever. You're still going to have some hot water. You'll have actually a lot of hot water. Uh, and so, for what it's worth, guys, this is my, this is my two cents on uh, uh, going off-grid, cutting energy usage. Uh, just one place for you to save some energy and save some money, put it back in your pocket. Uh, I would use this one thing, uh, of course, after the CFL bulbs to begin with. But I would use this in conjunction with the CFL bulbs and my lights to uh, build a little nest egg to then change all of my lighting out to LEDs. And once you change all your lighting out to LEDs, my friend, your utility bill will go down like you can't believe. Um... Give it a try. Some place to save money. Yes, you're going to spend a little bit of money. It could be, I don't know, I, this one for me, I, I bought two when I bought mine. I don't remember how much I spent. It could be as much as $35, $40. Uh, but what you spend in $35, $40 right here will save you that in maybe a month. It just depends on what your usage is, obviously. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, but again, what you save in the in the change from uh, regular lights to CFL and then from CFL to LED is worth every dime. It's all money in your pocket to put into your fund so that you can uh, go back and purchase more of your solar panels, your wind pa your wind generators, your charge controllers, your batteries. Those things are are a little bit expensive still. They're coming way down. Um, We'll do some uh, videos later on, on how to wire those, uh, what kind of panels or what, uh, batteries, all different kinds of things. So uh, keep, in, keep uh, coming back and checking, and we will see you next time. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.